Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we're on October 29th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. We're going to start off by looking at our star. Lots of plasma dancing off of the bottom left there. Also the top left, as we had quite possibly a comet or a something or other shoot by our planet right there. Pretty wicked images coming from Solar Dynamics Observatory. No space weather incoming affecting us at the present time. As we do have a very quiet sun, and this is what I've been talking about for 18 months now. We're on the verge of a global cooling. Looking at the Pacific Disaster Center here, a couple tornado warnings this morning in Boston, Massachusetts, as that nor'easter went through. Typhoon U2 is still a Category 2, heading into northern parts of the parts of the Philippines. These are all the latest for volcano eruptions as well. Very active yesterday for earthquakes. Some pretty sizable and notable earthquakes to talk about as well. This 5.5 in Japan at Chijojima. We also had the 6.3 in the Drake Passage. We're going to look at that right now. This is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Drake Passage is south of South America, off the tip. And that was at a 10 kilometer depth. So that was this morning, early this morning. We also had the earthquakes in the South Sandwich Islands over the last couple of days as well. Bristol Islands, you're still seeing seismic activity. And then of course, my forecasted region yesterday was hit. A 6.1 in El Salvador at a 24 kilometer depth. So watch for North American plate to shake next. Overlooking the Western Ring of Fire. 5.5 here. And the Philippines went off with a 5.3. Papua New Guinea. Still aftershocks in Greece. Reverberating east. And let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. A lot of very deep earthquakes. Numerous 5.0 and greater. So stay aware and prepared and have a plan, please. God bless humanity as we're going through these crazy times. Some believe it's the end. I believe it's the end of a way of living. We have to change our ways. Watch for North American plate for our next large earthquake, Cascadia fault line. And here we're looking at the last seven days for weather overlooking North America. Watching a lot of cold air come down on the eastern side, create a pretty nasty nor'easter. Also watching tropical depression Oscar going through the Atlantic Ocean and then heading north. And we'll watch that in the five day forecast. That's gonna be heading towards the United Kingdom. This is the map of the total precipital water from around the world falling. You can see those long arms 
of moisture stretching out from the equator. That's what happens when we have an intertropical convergence. Very cold temperatures reaching below the 35th parallel. And you can see Typhoon U2 gets cut off by a cold front coming from China. High pressure ridge. Things are really drastically changing in the east as they're going to be expecting some pretty nasty snow weather over the next little bit in parts of Pakistan, believe it or not. So here's a look at Typhoon U2, who's now downgraded to a Category 2 and is hitting Luzon right now. And as it goes across, it is set to gain strength again to a Category 2, heading north-northeast towards Japan. So here we are looking at the five-day forecast for the life of U2. You can see it taking a northeast track towards Taiwan and then on to the Pacific Hurricane Highway. Large high pressure ridge building, bringing a lot of cold air and cutting the life of Super Typhoon U2. So these are the regions here that I was talking about that will be receiving some pretty large amounts of snow, northern parts of Pakistan and Turkey. So watch within a week for some pretty crazy snow stories coming out of those regions. Overlooking Europe, lots of low pressure vortices moving in, creating rain pretty much for the whole United Kingdom and snow as well for parts of Ireland. And Russia, a large low pressure system here, very cold and snowy one. And then over North America, Nor'easter leaving, another one developing as we have an Alberta clipper it's going to bring some snow across the prairies and into northern Ontario. And then later in the week for the Quebec and the Atlantic provinces. Alberta this week, we're going to be looking at snow definitely for Sunday. As a large low pressure system comes through and then another one. Bing, bang, boom. Probably looking at about 15 to 20 centimeters with that snowfall. So stay aware and prepared on the weekend. Try to get all your stuff done. And this is the last nice week of warm temperatures. You can see these cold temps reaching all the way down to Al Albuquerque, New Mexico. Overlooking South America. A lot of thunderstorms, torrential downpours from this large low pressure system that came off of South America. Have a quick look at our southern hemisphere right now, as it is pretty active. A lot of large low pressure centers that are spinning around the South Pole. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.